So I'm headed over to uh, look at a farmer's. He's got a, a disc that's uh, got a busted part on it. And uh, anyway, I was going to load my machine up and haul it over here and fix it. But he said I might want to come look at it and take the part off and take it home and fix it. So about, you know, one way or the other we'll get it fixed. It might take two trips this way, but that's okay. Um, and he may come pick the part up, so that might save me a trip anyway. Just another little welding project. I, it's one of those things sometimes you, uh, when people know you know how to do something, they call you out of the blue and they say, hey, you still doing any welding or anything like that? Well, of course, if I'm too busy to get to it, I usually tell them, but right now uh, we've had some rain and jobs just aren't, you know, I'm, I'm trying to take anything I can right now, so I hate to sound desperate, but, you know, if you can't keep money flowing um, somewhere or another, you ain't gonna make it. Um, this could be a really wet spring, it could be worse than winter. I don't know that for a fact, but, um, but like I said, I'm... <laughs> I'm not banking on being able to just work every day of the week with the backhoe. Uh, it would be nice, but um, this winter hasn't been that way. I, I finally got a full weekend last week, and that was rare for this year. But anyway, but like I say, I'm going to run over here and get the part picked up, and hopefully it's not real hard to pull off of the disc, but he said it's one they welded up before. Those are my favorite kinds um, <laughs> because they usually have a couple layers of uh, weld to remove before you get started. But and it could be something I need to rebuild the part completely. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet, so we'll make that determination once I get there and take a look at it. We'll see what happens. So this is what we got here. This is the part that they've repaired before. Um, this is the main lift cylinder that folds the wing up on the disc. But it is in bad shape. Uh, what I told him, it's been folded up, it's been flattened out, and you can see it's even dented in here because of the pressure it puts on the disc. So, I told him the best solution I could see is we need to probably rebuild this part and uh, probably thicker and it needs to span and be, you know, this thing looks to me like it's been repaired probably more than once. I think the farmer that owned it before him repaired it once and, and then this guy repaired it once. So it's, we can salvage this piece. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the main piece here but the the plate back here is going to be rebuilt so i'm gonna pull it off there and take it to the shop okay uh got the part off of the disc in here uh th this is interesting to me somebody had put like a piece of spring steel or something in behind that in between the frame just so it would push a little bit higher but Oops, sorry about the noise there. This has been moving for quite a while. You can see it was The piece of steel probably got them by for a little bit longer um, I'm not sure who welded these welds. I didn't uh, obviously but Oh, that's noisy But this is what a person will run into on a farm repair job a lot of times and what they did wrong here the first time it was repaired, the first thing the farmer did is he probably put a bead right on top of this steel. Instead of V'ing it out, getting um, a good full penetration weld in it. Um, I'm going to be able to salvage this part here is still good. There's nothing bent. This is plenty strong. I don't see anything wrong with it. But what I've got to do is make a new plate. And this is like 10 inches by 12. Um, and I obviously I'm not going to bend it, but I am going to use a thicker plate. I'm going to use a 5 8 plate and uh, just going to 
cut this all apart and clean it up. Another thing I noticed, the way the frame on this disc is built, this set of bolts is close to the um, where the load is. This set's offset because there's a cross member on the disc that runs in this area, so they had to move these back. Just seems like kind of a bad design. Um, it probably works good for several years. That, that, you know, people don't understand manufacturers can't build things to last forever and stay on a, on a budget. So, you know, this thing probably did a useful lifetime of work before it really started causing trouble. It's hard to tell, maybe not. But at any rate, that's, um, that's my project. This is my new piece of steel. This is a nice piece of 5 8 um, It almost looks like cold rolled. But anyway, it was a drop off the steel place head that uh, was big enough for the project we got going. And I'm gonna try to use it wisely and figure out the best way to get my piece cut and still have some good usable steel later but i'll just be hand cutting all this out with a torch i uh, don't think i'll even need a guide for something this small um, i'm a little rusty on the torch so we'll see how i do i think i can i can still cut a little bit i believe that sounds a little better that's a sharp tip right there
is a mess. cleaned off again here. Now, we still have a piece of plate that's welded to this bottom here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here, uh, mark a straight line and bevel cut that. Clean it up. Do a bevel cut, it'll probably turn out pretty close to what I need. So, this camera is even close to what we're working on there. Okay, we'll do a little bevel cut here, a little bit sharper. Bevel. Getting close to heaven. Now, I burned up part of the flat edge there. The rest of this, I probably need to just take a grinder and clean it really good. This will just make it easier than grinding. I've got a flat surface here and here that were uh, the original piece of steel. Somehow I've burned off the parts. Well, it got a little ugly. Okay,
Parkside. It's not factory bevel, but it's it's going on a farm equipment, so you know it's going to work. I'm gonna say the prep works pretty much all done here. Well, I'm gonna need to grind a little bit of that off. It's good. A little smag. moving a little too fast right here and it didn't blow through so I got my speed wrong I'm a little rusty on this Try this one attempt. I don't know if it'll take much off. But that dude puts a nice finish on it. That really 
cleaned that edge up pretty nice. I mean, you can still see marks in it. I could grind more on it and get all those out, but for the most part, it's straight. Um, that's important. We got the magnet. Magnet is on. these fitting too tight. That little bird nest every time you do this and that stuff is sharp. Set your center mark down there and magnet on. And we'll go again here. Quick work of a hole that size. 